Hey guys, what's going on? This is Always, and I welcome you to this course of Blender. This is the first video, so I'm going to introduce what I'm going to teach you in Blender. We're going to start learning Blender from basic to advanced. So it's going to be about 70 videos, and I'll be teaching you from basic to advanced. If you have any question during this course, let me know in the comments below or you can follow me on Twitter at AwaysMirza01 and you can ask me a question on Twitter as well. I will highly recommend you guys that do not skip any videos if you want to learn Blender in depth. The first couple of videos is going to be an overview of the software and then we will start our basic modeling. So once we are comfortable with our basic modeling, then we will jump into advanced modeling. Alright, so this is what you see when you start Blender for the first time. The interface is basically composed of different panels. So I've got one panel on the top, I've got one panel on the right, one panel on the left, and then we got two panels here. This is our 3D view panel. Most of the work you will be doing in 3D view panel. Find out what kind of panels we got. So if you click on this arrow button, or this icon, this icon, or this icon, right? So if I click here, I can see all the panels available in Blender. So right now I'm in the info panel. As you can see that this eye icon is there. So that means I've got info panel there. On the right, I've got outliner. So if I click on it, as you can see that I've got this icon and this icon is the same. So that means that's the outliner. Next we got properties. Down here I've got my 3D view which is most important and most of the work you will be doing in this 3D view. And down we got timeline. So this is for the animation. If your interface is not like this so what you can do, click on this file menu and click on load factory setting. It's gonna make your interface default. Let me show you how to customize few things in your interface. So click on a file menu and click on user preference. And then I want you to go to system. And then the first thing what I want to show you here is general DPI. So if your interface is pretty small and it's kind of hard to look at the commands and menu so you can increase or decrease them. So I like about 92 or 90 so you can customize that according to your liking and your monitor resolution. Down here I want you to select CUDA. It's going to let you to select your graphics card which is going to help us to improve the performance of this software. There are a few more things we can customize here, but I will show you when we need them later in the course. So for now, I'm gonna click on close and let's start exploring our software. Okay, so on the top, we got info panel, right? So in the info panel, I've got this file menu. Basically, it's a, just a general menu. Every software has that. It's gonna let you to create new file, open a file, open recent files, save, save as, import and export, some general stuff. Next we got render menu. You can render your image or animation from this menu. Next we got window, such as I've got duplicate window, I can create a duplicate window and then toggle window full screen, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to click on it and it's going to toggle that window to full screen. Next we got help. You can access help from Blender online. So these are the stuff here. Next we got some preset of our layouts. So if I click here, I've got few layouts here such as 3D view, full animation, composition, default. And right now we are using default as you can see on the top. And if I want to do some animation, I can select that animation and then it's going to change the interface of the software. So I'm going to go back to defaults and the most of the work in the first at least 10 videos, I'll be working on default layout. Alright, so next we got scenes. So these are the few scenes available. We can create new. We'll talk about it in the later video. Next we got Blender Render. So these are the three renders available here. Blender Game, Cycle Render and Blender Render. We will talk about it in the later videos as well. Next we got some information about software such as the version of the software and few more things. On the right we got Outliner Panel. So what Outliner Panel does basically I'm going to expand that by dragging this to the left. And you can expand these panels and customize them. So I'm going to just drag this down a little bit as well. So outliner panel have everything, um, have the information about any every object we have in the software, such as I've got one cube and I've got one camera. If I click on it, it's going to select that object. I've got one lamp there. All right, so this is the outliner panel. 
and then we got a few tabs here as well so we'll talk about it in the later videos all right and then the most important panel we got here is the properties panel so as you can see that we got a few tabs here okay so i'm not gonna go deep into these uh, options in this video so let's talk about uh, some menus here so i've got this render menu and then i've got next is a uh, render layers and then the most important we got here is object menu so in this object menu you've got information about your objects let me select that cube first i'm gonna click on this cube and now as you can see that that menu is being changed it's because it depends on the object whatever the object you will select let's say i'll select this camera right and then that menu is gone back to the different menu now okay so these are the options available for the camera objects so if i select the cube object i've got a few more options such as add modify menu so i can add modify to my cube and then i've got this data object all right so these are the few things we have so it depends on the object whatever you selected that's gonna change let's talk about this 3d view menu if you click here you can see that this is a 3d view menu so most of the work you will be doing in 3d view so basically that's our animation object creation or character modeling anything happens in your program it will be done in 3d view so next we got timeline this is used for creating animations so i'm gonna go back and toggle off my full screen and then we will talk about a few more things in the next video thanks for watching guys if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and if you're learning blender i will highly recommend you do not skip any video go through with all the videos step by step so you can learn blender in depth all right i'll talk to you guys in the next video be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on twitter if you want to ask me any question thanks for watching talk to you guys in the next video cheers